This is Twit. Google launches Ripple, an open standard that could bring tiny radars to Ford cars. So I didn't know this, but Google has been building radar chips for about seven years. Uh, that's what tells you how you sleep, that radar in my paddle. Not that paddle, the other paddle, the sleep paddle under my bed. Uh, you can control it. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I, I want I want a diagram of all the all the electronics <laughs> in the bedroom. Just stop. <laughs> Where do you put your paddle? Anyway, uh, <laughs> in the basement, of course. Oh yeah, the dungeon. Well, you gotta. Have, okay, so you have one in the dungeon, but you might need one. In, there might be discipline needed uh, at other times. I'm just saying. Oh man. Uh, you can control. <laughs> oh. The company's Soli radar, that's the Soli, uh, of course, was in the last Pixel phones, but uh, uh, didn't, didn't really. Uh, that's the one where you could go like this to your phone and make it do things. Now there is an open source API standard. See, if Stacy were here, she could probably explain this, called Ripple, that will basically put Soli in S-O-L-I in uh, automobiles and other things. Yeah. Um, Ripple, quote, this is from... Uh, Ivan Puperev, the man who uh, led the team at Google's ATAP Skunk Works that came up with Soli. Uh, Puperev says, Ripple will unlock helpful innovation that benefits everyone. General purpose radar is a key emerging technology for solving critical use cases in the privacy respecting way. The Ripple project is open source. It's on GitHub. Oh, well, maybe not. It's copyright. But it is on GitHub. Well, I thought it's open source. So, I, <sighs> so it depends on what you it? define as open source. You oh. publishing the source does not necessarily make it open source. It's the license that matters. It's what open source ish. Ish. You have to sign so, a Google open source license agreement to participate. A couple of things. When they first rolled out Soli, they were talking about a very sophisticated technology that could detect the finest. Movements. They they were promising that someday Google would have solely on smartwatches, and you'd be able to change the time by just moving your fingers ever so slightly. I love and that. Then oh the yeah, actual, I remember that. Actual implementation of it is like big big movements. But I, I just it, it could be a problem in a car if it's implemented and somebody accidentally you know flips somebody off, and then that's perceived as a gesture for turning the the, <laughs> the, the radio on full blast or something like that. I don't know. I, I, and I'm not sure how this is going to be implemented, but hopefully... Ford would out. not tell The Verge what it plans to do with Soli, but only that it's looking at using, quote, interior radar to do things its exterior radars aren't doing today. What could that mean? Well, people should 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 know that the the self-driving cars of the future will have as many sensors pointing at the dash as there are sensors outside. How come pointing at the world? Because a big part of how how they'll function is they'll constantly be detecting emotion, stress, conflict. Uh, they really want to see who is the, who's in the car so they can customize. Uh, information settings in the seats and all that kind of stuff. So there, there's a huge amount of uh, uh, effort in Silicon Valley to build up all these sensors. They want to see if um, even before the the self-driving cars are self-driving, want to make sure that if people are falling asleep or if they're drunk, they want to be able to tell all that through sensors so they can turn on or turn off certain safety features, certain self-driving features. And so this, it looks like uh, Google has decided to jump into that existing uh, nascent uh, market with an existing technology that was originally promised for smartphones and, and wearables. So that's basically appears to be what this is. And they you know they they talk they don't talk so much about super future stuff because they want to get in early. There are certain startups that specialize in this kind of thing that are kind of gobbling up all the mind share um, for car makers. But so I think Google, Google wants to sort of get in there and, and establish themselves as a technology that car makers want to use and build into their cars. Not just That's car makers. There there there's like pet chip, pet collar yeah. chip makers that want to uh, measure your dog's internals like uh, blood. You know, pressure and heart rate and temperature with one of these things. They 
The Amazon's apparently looking into uh, bed sensors to measure sleep. So lots of uses I mean, for this. That's actually the, the fact cool. is that with AI and 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 increasingly better sensors, everything and anything, including as we learned, light bulbs, will be able to detect yes. yep. the state of being yep. uh, in multiple ways. And this is especially going to be true inside cars. Uh, and in our homes and our desks and so on, but especially in cars. There's another company, Bloomio, has a dev kit for a radar-based blood pressure sensor. So that's interesting. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of health implications as well. So yeah. good. Soli's not dead. It was a cool technology. Uh, the Pixel 4 did not show it off well. Nobody used it, and so they took it out. But I think there are lots of uses for it. Yeah. And, and now it's called Ripple.